So now in this video I thought we would take another look at a series supercapacitor bank that I have here. So there are six supercapacitors right there. These uh, binding posts I added to the board. Otherwise the protection board was put onto there. This is not a high quality unit but it's a fun unit to look at. Each one of the capacitors is rated for up to 2.7 volts and claims to have a capacitance of 500 farad. They are uh, cheap though, so they probably fall short of that, maybe uh, by quite a bit. But uh, in any case, that is what they claim. Now, they are connected in series. So the board, which was uh, pre-made when I got it, so it had all this junk, I think. But in uh, any case, we have the positive side of that capacitor. They're polarized and the negative there. The negative is connected to the positive of that capacitor and the negative of the positive of that one. So they're in series. So their voltages are actually going to add up. If uh, they stay balanced, we'll be able to charge instead of 2.7 volts, the entire unit up to 16.2 volts and uh, the capacitance will go down though. Instead of 500 farad, we'll have somewhere around about 83 farad if they actually live up to that uh, capacitance. Now, the uh, voltages need to stay balanced. They need to be equally balanced to get that full voltage, which I don't trust this board to do it, so we'll keep the voltage lower than the maximum 16.2. And to see how charged each capacitor is, we can measure across it. There's little holes here, and uh, they uh, connect across the capacitor still, or we could go to the solder right there, and uh, solder kind of oxidizes or whatever and doesn't get a good connection always but in any case there you can see that these are not uh, balanced this one's about a quarter of a volt that one's about three fourths of a volt right there but uh, in any case we have them in series so there you can see we have the total voltage of the two one volt right there and uh, so we go to all six of them and we can see that uh, this is charged up to about 3.8 volts so now we got the uh, power supply. The output is off right now. I got it set up to uh, 10 volts right there. One amp of current. That one amp of current is important. We're going to take the uh, black alligator clip here and connect it to the negative side of this uh, capacitor bank right here. Now we'll come over to the uh, other side and we're going to connect the positive side right there. And you got to make sure that a bunch of current doesn't flood into the power supply and we don't seem to have that problem. Now, you can see we got a voltage on here and it was much closer to uh, four volts than what we see there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit uh, the power button. Now you can see we got about the voltage that we saw before. I have the current set to one amp, so now I turn the output off. And uh, so current is kind of trickling from the capacitor bank into the uh, power supply right now. So they are discharging over time. You won't want to leave that on there permanently. But you can see when I hit the power button there, we got one amp of current. That is charging the power bank. All right, so I messed up the scene before, so we're gonna start again. I uh, got the alligator clips making a better connection right there. So hopefully this display stays more steady. But we're gonna wait till we get to seven volts. I bumped up our uh, total voltage that we could apply this to uh, to 14 volts and when it gets to 7 volts we're gonna start timing how long it takes to get to 8 volts so now we are at about uh, 7 volts and uh, actually I gotta reset this there we go and uh, so now I'm starting the uh, timing and so it looks like I may have started a little bit uh, late but the main thing is we're gonna count how long in seconds it takes to go from 7 volts to 8 volts and the more reliably we can do that the better we will know the actual capacitance of this uh, power bank. Well, they are in series. So it should be around 83. This is also an old uh, pack, so it may have gone down over time and uh, whatnot. Plus, they uh, usually lie about the actual capacitance that the uh, capacitors can handle. So in any case, we're going to count it. It's about uh, 40 seconds right now. And uh, there we go. Just hit 40 seconds on the thing. But I also started a little bit uh, late. So in any case, uh, let's uh, keep watching it. And uh, so for uh, each second, one Coulomb is going in. That's what one at means. There we go. And I got uh, 57 uh, seconds right there that it took to go from about 7 volts to about 8 volts. So this is probably closer to uh, 57 farad 
uh, capacitor bank. So now while I'm charging up probably to 14 volts, you're going to notice here that we have CC right there. That's for constant current. We're providing a constant amount of current, which is one amp right there. That's what we set our uh, maximum. And uh, there you can see it's wavering a little bit. But in uh, any case, so not a, a great uh, current source probably, but uh, it's doing its job uh, pretty well. So constant current means that it's providing a constant current, one amp right now. If we could... Uh, limit the current with uh, something else with our maximum then we would have a constant voltage it would apply a certain amount of voltage and the load would be what limits the current but since the power supply is limiting the current it's a constant current so now whether it's capacitors or batteries as we mentioned before you need them to have equal voltage for them to get their uh, maximum voltage right there. Otherwise, in this case, some of these capacitors are gonna make it to 2.7 volts before other ones are, and then they're gonna keep going up in voltage right there. So hopefully, as they get more charge, they kind of balance out. But uh, for the most part, I think most of them are fairly close to each other, other than that uh, first one that we measured. So we will take a quick look at them right there. And uh, yeah, it doesn't look like they're as bad as the first one. And when it comes to uh, supercapacitors, they tend to drift down from voltage when they're at their maximum voltage. So if we raise this slow enough, the uh, ones that are higher up, maybe they'll leak a bit and uh, kind of lower their voltage to become closer to our weakest one. And uh, hopefully they kind of stay a little more balanced at that point. I don't trust that this board is going to keep them from overcharging. So we're not going to push it too much. And now we got 14 volts according to the uh, power supply and I think it's actually pretty accurate. We'll look at with the uh, multimeter the full battery pack and it shows slightly lower right there but uh, pretty close. And this one right here has a lot more voltage that it can add but uh, if we look at uh, I think pretty much any of the other ones right there they're getting you know relatively close to 2.7 volts. So I'm going to kind of end it uh, right there and uh, we have 14 volts to work with across the entire uh, capacitor bank. So again, they can provide one amp of current for somewhere probably around 60 seconds per volt right there. But the voltage is going down. That's a property of capacitor, whereas batteries kind of provide a more consistent voltage over time. The uh, capacitors, their voltage changes directly with how much current they're providing. So we're going to turn the uh, multimeter off and uh, that's it for this video so uh, let's unplug this we could also see how long it takes to self discharge and uh, I could also hold that voltage across there see if over time these kind of drift down in voltage well that one kind of rises up in voltage over time until they equalize or maybe that's just a weak link altogether that's a bunch of testing that uh, we could do so that's the nice thing about these uh, crappy ones is that uh, you run into all kinds of problems and uh, they're cheap and uh, so if you can troubleshoot these cheap ones that are uh, crappy you'll have better luck with the uh, higher quality ones and you know how to adjust them as needed so in any case thanks for watching check out one of the other videos i post on the screen and check out the links down below they all help out a lot i'll see you in the next video